This is just a quick couple minutes about how to get the most from these phonics lessons. I've been tutoring since 1994 and I developed these lessons working with my students, improving them the whole time. Most students who go through these lessons gain a grade level or two, but some have gained as much as five. Now we'll see what you can do to get the most from these lessons. These are the main four things. We'll go into each of them in detail later. Pay attention, pause, persist, and promptly finish. A few of the later phonics lessons have some files that make it helpful and easier to use the lessons. For example, there are some words for the alphabetizing lesson. You can download these for free or you can also order an inexpensive CD with all the files on it from the phonicspage.org. One of these files that is especially good to use is a reading grade level test. You should have someone give you a reading grade level test before and after the lesson so you can see how much you progress. The most important thing to do is to pay attention and take part. Don't just sit there. You need to be saying the words when I ask you to say them and you also need to be writing down the spelling words. The pause button is your friend. If you aren't saying the words as fast as the space I left for them, hit the pause button. I usually say OK or something right before I'm starting. Also, for younger students especially, you may need to pause the movies halfway through or anytime your brain's getting full and you just need a little bit of break. So, pause. Pause early and pause often. As often as you need to to make sure you're getting the full benefit from these lessons. Another important thing is to persist. Make sure you finish through to the end. You learn more and more and more, and if you finish through the end, you will learn enough to be able to sound out anything. Also, you may need to watch them again. One fifth grade student I had started out at the second grade reading level. He watched them through three times, gaining a grade level each time he watched them. When he was done, he was reading at grade level. You also need to try to promptly finish these lessons. One month is best, and you should try to finish within two months. This is because most reading problems are caused by sight words or other whole language practices. These lessons are specifically designed to fix reading habits that cause problems from these practices and establish new good reading habits and phonetic sounding out of each word from left to right. The longer you take to complete the lessons and the more outside reading you do, the harder it is to establish these good habits. Okay. So let's not waste any more time talking about it. Let's promptly start learning to improve our reading and spelling abilities. Good luck, and I hope they will help you as much as they have helped my other students.